So, what is architecture? Architecture for me is a culture practice. It's a, that engages the built environment. That is architecture for me. <laughs> what can architecture do? Um, I mean, architecture engages uh, ev everyone, more or less, in, in, in different ways. But uh, since uh, the built environment consists, uh, c the construction of the built environment, we have to deal with every day. We walk out with our door, go into the city, come back home, or the, 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 the kind of the, the organization of the city and the, and, the, and the architectural or landscape objects in and around will have an effect on us. Uh, so on everyone, it, it affects all of us um, more, more or less direct or indirect. But then architecture can also develop if you are an architect yourself and you're interested in architecture and you, you know, you're interested in research or posing tricky questions, it's a way of developing uh, your thought or your thinking about the built environment and a challenging, challenging yourself about how to perceive the built environments and how to design. How do you position yourself within the discourse? How I position myself in the discourse. Yes. Uh, yeah, well, I think discourse is very important and to continuously uh, discuss. Uh, I am very interested in, in the kind of the, as the cultural aspect of architecture. Uh, I'm interested in architecture as an aesthetic practice as well. How, uh, and the kind of the perception of architecture. So that is important for me. Then I have a kind of a background also from uh, engaging with technology, digital tools for design and fabrication, but also aspects of uh, material, material processes. Uh, but I always see architecture through kind of a lens of a kind of a culture perspective. That's important to me, even if I'm dealing with technology and tools that are, uh, engage my design process. Are there any values uh, that are important to you? Yeah, I mean, the uh, values, uh, I, uh, of course, uh, architecture produces values and reproduces values depending on how, how, how time changes and how uh, so I, I think, of course, the architectural values are important. But I don't, I, I don't know if I got this question correct. How, if value, of course, the values are extremely important. You have to totally engage them and embrace them. Do you have any references or role models in architecture? Role models in architecture. Uh, uh, I mean, I have, uh, I think uh, I'm looking very much both to history and to contemporary times to, uh, to learn about the contemporary times, you also have to look into history. So I think uh, it's not that there is one that is more important than the other, but I think that uh, to look at precedents to start to study precedents and to understand how you can position yourself in relation to uh, architecture of other times and architecture of contemporary times is important. So I think that is, and then kind of your, your reference change in depending on your project. So if, for example, you're dealing with a project that, uh, where you want to study notions of rustication, you would have to look at architecture that somehow engaged with rustication. If you're going to look at an architecture that is buoyant, where do you start to find architecture that deals with buoyancy? Uh, if you're going to look at architecture that uh, um, yeah. I, 
I mean, architecture is doing many different things, but these were a few th things that I can could summarize into this <laughs> question. <laughs> what is your design method? Uh, I think it's very fun to produce methods. Like, I don't have one design method, or I test, I work with methods, but I think it's important to challenge your methods, because otherwise they can become a scary truth or something. So you have to challenge yourself, and methods is also like, depending on a project, what kind of project you're engaging, I try to develop a method that relates to it, that I can kind of research the question through. Uh, so, so I think you need a method. But methods need also to be changed. You need to challenge yourself so you don't get too, too kind of uh, uh, settled in one. That's why it's also interesting, like coming to landscape architecture. Having studied landscape architecture and architecture, I've engaged in architecture, but now also applying for the position here in landscape architecture. It's like going between uh, disciplines uh, and. Uh, And not like go, like going between the, looking into the kind of the fringes of the discipline to also challenge yourself.